This is Nate Davis. We're going to talk about the BAR specific and diagnostic course wiring diagram for the L1 Advanced Engine Performance Course by ASE Composite Vehicle Number Three. Let's walk through this diagram. I'm going to walk you through this diagram to try to get a better understanding how it's wired up on this composite vehicle. First off, we need to find a power. That's your power source, 5 volts. That 5 volts feeds about 5 or 6 different sensors. Remember, the sensors receive 5 volts power, not 12, 14 volts, about 5 volts power to all the sensors. So it comes out of pin 1. Over down to the first sensor. The first sensor, the throttle position sensor. You set a little black dot right here which my pen won't draw yeah, right there you see that little black dot right there that means to splice anything on that 5 volt line and splice into that line it has 5 volts so it goes to the throttle position sensor down to the EGR position sensor down to the map AC pressure sensor fuel tank pressure sensor fuel level sensor now with every circuit you got power you need a ground so it's going to be found on the ground. Let's, let's start off at the throttle position sensor. So we know the throttle position sensor is receiving 5 volts. Okay, because the 5 volts is basically going in. Here. That's your 5 volts going into the sensor there. Going ahead to the EGR. It's going into the map, AC, fuel tank pressure sensor, and a fuel level sensor. Five volts are being tapped into those circuits. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six sensors. Now that's a five volts feeding into the sensor. So where's the ground at? Let's start the throttle position sensor. So the ground is here, come out that sensor, down here to the EGR resistance sensor, it goes in and out here. Next one's the map sensor. The knock and ECT sensor joins the case, joins the group. IAT sensor. AC pressure sensor. Fuel tank pressure sensor. And fuel level sensor. And it all ends up here. Oops. Pin 31. S sensor ground. That's the ground for all your sensors. So we got the power. We got the feed into the sensors, which is the green lines. And the black, which is the ground. So it's your power, your feed into individual sensors, and your ground. So the power is pin 1. The ground is pin 31 for the sensor ground. Oh yeah, also look at this little diagram right here. 
That goes into another diagram. There's also a ground, a fetal to the DLC on the upcoming diagrams.